Mike Innovative Door tutorial of the new Sears Craftsman belt drive door opener. Squeaky hinges, door got hit. Um, goes in smooth, um, belt works great, quieter. Um, couple minor changes here and there with the door opener over the years. Um, number one, lens cover is a little bit different. Um, not too well vented. It's a little vented up here at the bottom uh, for light bulbs so the lens covers don't yellow. Kind of like this one here, but uh, this older Chamberlain. But they vent, started venting them um, more like this. So that's good so the lens covers don't yellow and sizzle up and melt and all that fun stuff. Um, next, the uh, door arm. You can see it's grooved here in the middle. A bunch of metal missing in there. Um, basically, I will rehook these old opener arms and I'll explain to the customer that uh, you probably prefer that than this. This is uh, not as strong as that. Um, so that's another thing. Obviously, the handle here is miniaturized. If you look at some of the older models like this, handle's bigger there. Handle got smaller. Um, photo eye bracket, you can see the difference there. Old ones, bigger, beefier, um, grips tighter, newer ones, skinnier. Uh, when you put it on the track, it will tend to move slightly this way or that way, so you have to get used to that. Um, I prefer to mount these off the track if all possible, make a bracket, but uh, this particular install we did not do that. We just hooked them up to the track as the old ones were, as this is a homeowner install. Um, anyway, um, cheap cheesy angle that comes with it, but that's kind of, I mean, what do you expect? They're not going to be giving you a nice big beefy piece of angle, but that does come with it. It's kind of you know, somewhat of a bonus if you don't have any angle, so that's good. And then lastly, the best thing about this upgrade from the Sears is their push button. This is their old one with a light lock button, and then obviously there's a cover that goes on here, and then you press it, and it will open and close the door. The new one has a motion sensor, light lock, timer to close, lock button, learn button, on off the light switch, auto lock, and obviously I gotta put another screw in here, that's why it's loose a little bit, but I will do that. And then this will open and close it. So this is and a hold button for the timer to close. So I mean their new push button whales. That's awesome. Uh, this is their old one, that's their new one, and that's the pros to call right there. So pretty much um, done with this video here, this tutorial of the Sears Craftsman. Overall, I think it's a pretty decent door opener. I would definitely encourage people to buy the belt drive over the chain drive just because it's a solid belt. Uh, the chain drives come with a half chain and half cable. So I would encourage uh, people to buy this belt drive. It's a nice, nice door opener from Sears. Um, the square tube, uh, so-so, but what do you want? Sears store bought nice belt opener to uh, lubricate the belt maybe once a year when it gets a little squeaky and that's it oh and lastly I forgot to the remotes which I showed you at the beginning of the video but these are about the same size as the old ones so nothing too shabby there um, innovative door 630-271-9343 www.innovativegaragedoor.com 650 Ogden Downers Grove home base. Thanks for watching our video, Sears Craftsman Tutorial. And as always, I encourage everybody to praise the Lord. Thank you for watching. And make sure to read the descriptions and the videos that I post for more information and facts. Thank you for watching.